So what we're doing today is got the Suburban, of course, the Money Pit, and we got the AC Delco um, upstream and downstream O2 sensors. Uh, this one is the uh, downstream and 105 is the upstream. Uh, there's a difference in the connectors. Um, this one has the four pins, it's a square connector, uh, and um, it's a heated O2, so it's got the ground right here, comes with anti C's, and then the 105, and they probably use these sensors on multiple engines, but for this application it is the 5.7. So then you got... A flat connector, four pin, heated O2. Now the problem is you, you get an O2 sensor socket like this. This one is Matco, but they're all pretty much the same. Um, is you know obviously things snap off. They're rusty. They don't come out. Um, the O2 sensor that I took out stripped the threads, so they sell this socket or tool to tap the threads and this is for M18 uh, I think you can read it M18 1.5 can you see that anyway I never have any good luck with this um, so uh, the next thing what we're gonna do is we're going to heat up and try to remove the catalytic converters. So I'll show you. Here is one of the cats, and there's an O2 sensor. So that'd be the downstream O2 sensor, and then if you follow this, it goes back to the muffler. So the, the, the pipe, it's separated all the way back to the muffler into two, two separate pipes, at least until it gets to there, and then it comes out, goes over, and comes out in the back. So I guess it wouldn't be too hard to put dual exhaust in here, but for now, we're gonna focus in on the O2 sensor that I tried. Well, I actually did get it out. It's right up here. I got it out and you can see that, I mean, I tried to tap the, the hole here and I just haven't had much luck getting the O2 sensor to start back in there. So, what we got is, we've got one, one catalytic converter here, and you can see the downstream O2 sensor there, and then we have another catalytic converter here, and then they had the downstream O2 sensor there, and then if you look at it from this angle, we have an upstream O2 sensor right there, and that's on bank two, or the passenger side, and then in front of this catalytic converter, we have, it, it comes over to the driver's side and I fought with this one as well. So the plan is, and you can see that's the flat connector right there. The plan is to take this whole Y pipe catalytic converter down and then see if we can get this. The, it's a bung, uh, a bung basically that uh, you can get maybe welded on here. Uh, I'll have to cut these off and then get new ones welded on so that the O2 sensors. So we're going to pretty much replace all the O2 sensors and possibly this whole catalytic converter pipe, which isn't cheap. But first step, I think, is we need to get this pipe down. And as you can see, these, these bolts on the exhaust manifolds uh, to this Y pipe or whatever are rusted badly. So... I'm gonna try to get you set up here, and we're gonna try to heat this up with just a regular map gas, and see if we can get these uh, nuts out. So that's what we're gonna do next.
Well, I see. If you haven't got anything better to do on a Saturday, this is definitely something I would put on your list. All right. So, we have all three of them off now. I think that one was the worst, but honestly, uh, all the bolts on the, the exhaust, manifold, flange, are probably the worst bolts to try to get off of any car. So we're gonna work on this side next, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to get all the O2 sensors unplugged, and uh, we'll, we'll go from there, seeing how fun this will be to get out of here from under the car. All right, so the first thing that happened was I had to disconnect the connector for this oxygen sensor and this bolt snapped off. And that's just for the cover that protects the connector. Then when I finally did get the O2 sensor out, it stripped all the threads and that was on the catalytic converters Y pipe. So I couldn't really get this because this is aiming up towards the floor pans. Um, and this is the bottom, this is the top. So, you know, I tried running a tap in there, it was a nightmare. Um, you can sell, see just by looking at one of the upstream O2 sensors, I mean, it's pretty much rust welded right to it. If you look inside the pipe, um, I don't know if you can see it, but. I mean, it's pretty much exposed, the threads. Um, that one, that's another the upstream sensor right there. And then you follow the pipe after the catalytic converter and then you got a downstream and that's for bank one. And then you have the upstream O2 sensor for bank two. And then after it goes through the catalytic converter, it's separated and then there's an, a downstream for this cat. So I had to take the exhaust manifold nuts off each one of them with a torch and you can see some of these there wasn't a lot left of the nut i was extremely lucky i mean you could believe how thin this is here's here's what the kit comes with and if you compare one of these to one of those you can see that there's not much left so these are the exhaust manifold donuts I call them whatever, flange gasket. Um, I'm gonna have to order up another one, at least one of them, and probably another flange at, after the cat gasket there. And this O2 sensor got completely destroyed. The other O2 sensor, the other upstream O2 sensor doesn't seem to be functioning correctly either. Um, so, but that's pretty much where we're at for today. I um, got that apart and I'm going to get a die and I'm going to try to run a thread chase on the studs so I don't have to mess with this because I don't have a torch and a map gas um, only works so well. I mean, you're on there forever trying to get things off and I don't know if heating up the cast... Um, manifold is it's gonna work to get these out I um, mean you can see when you look at these new replacement ones I mean I think these are Dorman so it's not really AC Delco or whatever there's no way to get this back off you know unless you double nut this or whatever I, I mean the other one's got kind of like oh um, a small I think it looks like maybe six millimeters or something not but I'm just going to run a thread chase around them and then throw new nuts on it. That should be fine. I just got to order the gaskets. And I might try and take this sensor out and run the tap in it. Now that it's out, you can see it. To me, it looks a little bit crooked. Like it's, it's just not right. So if I can get this out, I might try to run the thread, the tap in there. You can kind of see it down in there. That's how your O2 sensor works, but, um, yeah. Maybe I get this out. I say this one here is probably going to be the same problem. Um, honestly, I feel like I should just do all of them. But, anyway. Well, we're looking at 
all four O2 sensors, uh, both upstream, both downstream. Um, the square ones are the downstream. The flat ones are the upstream. Um, the threads, this one I replaced I think two years ago, but you can see that the threads right there just kind of tore off and just screwed the threads up on the, the bung on the pipe. So yeah, that's probably about $100 worth of O2 sensors right there, all four. I got them on order. Uh, once we get the order in, we'll put them in and we'll see how we're doing on the scan tool. Anyway, thank you for watching. All right, well that's it. Check out some of my other videos. Catch you on the next one.